Avery, you're muted. <laughs> Oops, my bad. 14 months ago, you're muted meant virtually nothing. See what I did there? Virtually. And now, you're muted is a part of our everyday, regular vocabulary. And honestly, you're muted is pretty on par for our education experience. What we have gone through in the past 12 years, and especially in these last two, is difficult to articulate. We've been through a pandemic, obviously, Zoom University, and just about every technology issue that could have possibly kept us from being to class on time, or for some of us, at all. More notably, we have been through so, so many trends. So instead of talking for five minutes about the craziness of the past year, we'd rather spend a little time talking about all of the separate things that have had an impact on our education experience. Let's take a little walk down memory lane before we walk across the stage. Warning to anybody that is not a part of Gen Z, the next few references might, that, might not make that much sense, so we apologize in advance. For many of us, or maybe just for me, we started out as cringy little fifth graders who thought they would be the next Lauren Gray of Musical.ly, to when TikTok came out, hating it and saying it was a waste of time. The resentment came from the Musical.ly embarrassment. To in our final stage saying, all right, be that A, everywhere we went, but hey, I call that character growth. And while this still may be a current conversation, the Apple Music vs. Spotify debate has plagued our class for many years. That being said, Spotify has always and will always be superior. And the boy band stands were an emotional time. We fell in love with Big Time Rush, only to be swept off our feet by One Direction. Rest in peace. As long as we are on this little walk down memory lane, it is only fitting that we go for a run around the Grandview Field in order to convince Mr. David to let us go to the front of the lunch line. I mean, hey. Anything to get first dibs on chicken tenders, right? Or perhaps what shaped us the most was thinking that eating a spoonful of cinnamon for views or banging cups on a table to Anna Kendrick was a good way to spend a Friday, Friday night. Nothing triggers your fight or flight more than the cinnamon challenge. And who remembers that one week in ninth grade when there was a power outage, a gas leak, and just about anything else that could have gone wrong did? That definitely shaped us. Should we even dive into 2016? That was a fever dream. From running away from fake clowns that I'm not even sure actually existed to a very intense presidential election to being able to play a song. Black Beatles in the city. They and everyone in the room instantly freezing. We can easily say the mannequin challenge was the highlight of the eighth grade turkey challenge show. But things were wild even before we got to high school. If you weren't perfecting your kendama skills in the hallways of Grandview, then what were you even doing? The only other acceptable answer is playing with a tech deck, both of which this class got banned. Out of all the different apps that have shaped our youth, Pokemon Go was by far the most interactive. Nothing like chasing around virtual Pokemon characters on your blue iPhone 5C. Now, I know that for anyone who isn't a part of this grade, it could be hard to understand how we've been shaped by running away from fake clowns or eating a teaspoon of cinnamon for views. But believe it or not, we are the individuals we are today because of all the gel pens and Women Crush Wednesdays that shaped our youth. All jokes aside, we want to make it clear that we are not trying to connect Flappy Birds and Tech Decks to COVID and the politically charged environment that has shaped us more recently. But we are saying that all of these trivial things were just as foundational to us as what we are going through now. The kindergarten version of you that sat on the bus in the morning trading silly bands and talking with your friends about last night's Club Penguin endeavors didn't expect that you'd be here now. At your senior graduation, three feet apart from each one of your friends, and probably not with all of the people that you wanted to have here tonight. But we gained so much more that no one talks about. With every challenge, we gained strength. With every heartbreak, we gained resilience. And with every obstacle, we gained adaptability. This class learned the value of the little things in life. We can no longer smile with our teeth, so we fearlessly learned the art of smiling with our eyes. We learned that presence matters. Our class now knows this more than any other. The time we spent apart this year gave us greater perspective on the significance of genuine connection. And that might even be more valuable than our Kandama skills. And that that is unique. That is, like we said, hard to articulate. It is something that only we will understand. Kind of like how we're the only ones who can understand the rush of getting a new high score on Flappy Bird. We can say without a doubt that we are the smartest, most fun, and best looking class. But with that, we also know that we can stand in the moment and allow these very raw experiences we have gone through this past year teach us how to navigate life after graduation. Yes, it's been tough. 
But no matter the labyrinth of life any of us finds ourselves in, we will thrive because we are tougher. I am proud to be a class of 2021 Whitehawk because I know that I have gained the st skills to succeed, even if they came from unfortunate circumstances. Mount Westonka class of 2021, we sincerely thank you and wish you the best of luck in whatever may come.